بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وخاتم النبيين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a verse of the Holy Quran in Surah Al-Nisa, La khayra fi kathirin min najwaahum illa man amara bi sadaqatin aw ma'arufin aw islahin bayna al-nas wa man yaf'al thalik abtigha amradati Allahi fsawfa nu'tiha ajran azimah. Allah says, there is no good in much of their speech, except in the speech of one who enjoins good, sorry, who enjoins the giving of charity, or enjoins good, or who enjoins reconciliation amongst people and whoever does this seeking the pleasure of Allah then soon we shall grant him an immense reward that's just a literal translation of the verse what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying is la khayra fi kathirin min najwahum there is no good in much of their speech referring to mankind Allah says quite categorically that when human beings speak, when they part their lips, wag their tongues, and utter something, then the rule is that they've got nothing good to say. They've got nothing beneficial or productive to say. There is no good in what they actually utter. That's the rule. Illa, except in the speech of one who enjoins giving in charity or who enjoins good or who encourages others to seek reconciliation between people. So the meaning of the verse is that when a human being, man or woman, speaks and utters something, Allah quite categorically says that man or woman, young or old, they have nothing good to say. That's the norm. That's the rule. And there are only three exceptions. There is no good in much of their speech except in the speech of a person who does one of three things. Number one, when he opens his mouth, when he parts his lips, when he wags his tongue and actually utters something, if that person encourages others to spend in charity, to be charitable, either in word or in deed, or by wealth, then there is good in that person's speech. The second person is one who enjoins good so when he actually says something, he is saying something good and he is encouraging others, motivating others, reminding others of their obligation and duty to do good. He forbids the evil and enjoins the good. He instructs people to good deeds and prevents them from ill deeds. Then such a person's speech is good and he and his speech are an exception to this rule. And the third category of speech which is exempted from normal speech is when a person speaks, man or woman, 
in that conversation, in that speech, in that utterance, they are seeking and trying to achieve reconciliation and peace between the people. These are the only three exceptions. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says right at the beginning of the verse, لا خير في كثير من نجواهم There is no good in much of their speech when men and women, when we as people, when we speak, when we pass our lips, we open our mouths. Allah tells us, nobody else, that we have nothing good to offer, we have nothing good to say, we have nothing good to utter. And these are the only three exceptions. Unless we are encouraging each other, reminding each other, motivating each other, and enjoining each other to give in charity and to be charitable either by word or deed, or we are enjoining good and reminding and motivating each other to do good and forbidding the evil, or number three, through our speech and our utterances, we are actually seeking a reconciliation and peace between people Unless our speech consists of these three things, Allah categorically declares that there is no good in our speech whatsoever. And that's why in one hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, كُلُّ كَلَامِ ابْنَ آدَمَ عَلَيْهِ إِلَّا ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ That every speech of man, this is just part of the hadith, that every speech of man is a burden upon him and works against him, except for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those things that are related to the remembrance of Allah. The title of today's speech is Silence of Salvation. What does that mean? We are believers because we seek salvation. We believe in Allah and in the articles of faith because we seek salvation in the hereafter with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And not just salvation in the hereafter, we also seek salvation and freedom and deliverance from many of the constraints and the problems and the calamities of the world. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has actually told us wherein is salvation. Both the salvation of this world as well as the hereafter. Safety is in silence. Salvation is in silence. He who speaks less will land himself or herself in less trouble. It doesn't cost anything to remain silent. And the Prophet ﷺ actually imparted this advice quite forcefully. In one hadith related by Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Amr.